Welcome back to another Kitten Space Agency Dev Updates video. Let's have a look together on what happened in June. This month was packed with updates. I have a feeling that we could potentially near the first public available build, fingers crossed. Let's dive right in. First thing this month were some screenshots from the first interplanetary transfer from Earth to Mars. We see the progress of the transfer as well as some super nice shots of Mars's planet shine effects. Enjoy the views. At last, we also see some beautiful video of the planet shine effects. Next, we got some nice screenshots and a video from the moon to showcase the improvements in terrain rendering, lens flares and shadows. The video nicely shows the improvements to the spherical billboarding and how smooth it is now. A really short window shows the work being done for multi-window support. Another video shows off what we had already talked about in the last month's video. More and more instruments are now procedurally generated and can be resized and moved freely. Note that this is also the first time, well, technically we saw it already in the previous multi-window video, we, that we see the mechanical rollers displayed for height, pitch, yaw and roll. We got a demonstration of the currently available camera modes. We have parent, stars, chase, surface, orbit and poles. Some of them make super beautiful time lapses. We got a screenshot of two vessels being nearby, simulating a rendezvous, basically to test out how the physics works when vessels are super close and let me quote, it's perfect. Physics simulation for drag in atmospheres has been implemented, which means objects are now falling through atmosphere with a terminal velocity. A nice video of a vessel falling through the clouds demonstrates the current status of volumetric clouds. All the instruments can now be popped out to their own windows or screens and back in. We got a cool video showcasing the physics simulation of aero braking in Earth's atmosphere. The time lapse shows the apoapsis decreasing with every orbit until the vessel crashes on Earth. At the end, we even see an indicator showing where the vessel crashed down. Does that mean by now that we have collisions? Maybe. We don't see it up close, maybe for a reason. We got a nice video showcasing a geostationary orbit over Hawaii. The interesting thing here is that Grafek mentions that he, or I quote, actually got this into orbit manually. Does that mean we have a means of starting a rocket already or just that he teleported the vessel into a default orbit and then moved it to geostationary orbit manually? We don't know. We got a nice demonstration of newly added buttons to the nav ball or they existed before but now they're inside the nav ball and have a new UI. We now have star, surface, orbit, velocity and burn and they are nicely integrated in the UI of the nav ball itself. An awesome demo shows how you can simply drag instruments from the game window to outside of the game window, still be able to resize as you wish and at the end move it back into the game all seamlessly, that's insane. Some awesome screenshots of a blue sunset are shown on Mars. This is a nice demo of how realistic the atmospheric scattering already is. Some of Mars's most prominent surface features were screenshotted. I know and recognize Mount Olympus, but what are the others? Let me know in the comments if you recognize and know them. Then we got some nice Earth flyby video showcasing again the atmospheric scattering. As well as a close moon flyby.
and also some Mars flybys. And a nice time lapse of an Earth sunset. A great video is showcasing how RCS works perfectly fine even under time warp. Both nulling out rotation as well as holding attitude or tracking or pointing targets works absolutely fine. Some nice screenshots showcase how even the ozone layer is now simulated correctly and further improves realistic scattering. Some random screenshots followed, posted by Dean, but without any comment on what they are showcasing specifically. So let's just enjoy their beauty. A short video is showcasing again how well RCS attitude control works with time lapse, uh, this time showing a solar marathon while keeping the nose pointed forward. An interesting video explains how RCS control works internally. Apparently the devs have some fun trying out more complex maneuvers now. Here is a screenshot of a moon slingshot maneuver to get to Neptune. Followed up by some nice visuals from various bodies' atmospheres. And another video of a beautiful sunset. Also, the game UI itself got some awesome updates. Check this out. The shadow system got some graphic upgrades as well. A nice video shows how dynamic the detail height maps are and how well they already work. Of course, you will never experience this in the game itself in the end, but it's nice to see it anyway. Did we get some screenshots of the first kind of actual launch in KSA? Grafik posted a screenshot of the first pass of an autopilot control panel and promised to be working on it in the coming days and even add more features. Let's have a look at some notable commits. There were multiple changes towards having real physics collisions. Work has started for connecting parts and subparts. It seems like the work on game audio has started. Looking forward to having audio, it will add so much to the experience. And we are now at Brutal version 25.6.3.0. And that was it for this month. Wow, this month was really packed with updates, right? This is super nice to see so much progress in so many areas. Keep it up, guys. If you liked this video and you are still watching, please leave a like. It really helps. And if you like to stay up to date on KSA updates, subscribe to this channel to not miss any of the updates. See you in the next video. Bye bye.